Hey people, it's Kelly of Print Price Lay, and I am in one of my favorite spreads in my summer prayer journal. This is the collage um, spread. So I have two of them. Um, I did the same thing in my Wild Thoughts uh, Faith Journal. And so I really, really enjoyed having these type of spreads. So I did it again in this summer prayer journal. So the first thing that caught my eye is the um, upside down rainbow. So I was trying to see what I would write um, like with. So I normally use Posca pens because they're the only markers that I feel give me the pigment that I want um, and do not bleed. So they are acrylic um, paint, so they don't necessarily go through this paper. I used the hot pink one. No, I used the light pink one. What was the hot pink? It was hot pink. It didn't work. Whatever it was, it didn't work. <laughs> so I'm using like this maroon type um, color right now. And I like the way it went. The first thing I wrote on there was teacher videos are popping up. Yay. All right. That is a YouTube reference. Um, I'm really into watching all of the teacher planner spreads and the classroom management, classroom setup, um, what I missed about my kids, like just all the things to get me excited because I will be going back in about three weeks, I believe, like the second to last week in August. August does have five weeks in it, thank God. But <laughs> nonetheless, that will be going by really, really fast. So I decided to write on all of the orange lines of this upside down um, um umbrella. <laughs> this upside down rainbow. On um, the other side, what does it say? It says, I am so excited to go through another year as a business teacher. So if you do not know, I teach business at a high school. And this is my, um, this will be my fourth year. I'm going into my fourth year. So this year I'll be teaching financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and the new baby on the roster is business law so far because we know how things change. <laughs> so um, I said, this is going to be fun. That is what I end up writing in this um, orange um rainbow i do plan on going back and writing in between the lines of the rainbow i just don't know if i'm gonna do that with my black pen or am i also going to use posca pens and just write really really big between them so i don't know if i'm right small or i'm gonna write big and then i don't know if i'm using my pen or i'm using my posca marker i'll figure it out later when i can't figure something out i just scrap what i'm doing well stop what i'm doing and i just you know go back to it like just if I'm thinking too hard, then I don't want to make a rash decision. I'm just going to be like, you know what? Let me just let it go. Do something crafty. Come back to it. So the next time I open up this spread, we'll see what happens. Um, I do want to point out, since we are in it right now, that these spreads are not necessarily meant for you to do all at once. Um, I tend to piecemeal them, as you will see. Like, we are not filling up this um <laughs> collage page uh today like neither one of the pages the whole spread should be done um eventually um but not all at once um i decided that with these blue dots i'm going to write each letter of what i want to say in them um and then i'm going to do it like in a landscape type of way so it says um it says hey god i am so excited to go um to bush gardens this summer um thank you for adventure that is what i put in those um bubbles so each word had i mean each circle had a different letter and then the circles that were like super super tiny and i felt like my marker wouldn't do it justice and the letter would look like a dot <laughs> i just actually put dots in there so i just filled them with that so it's like a a rich um blue like a aqua type blue and then i was like since i didn't get to use my pink on the rainbow i'm using my pink in these bubbles um on the green like slashes in the corner i decided to give a shout out to my nephew noah hey noah boo <laughs> and so him happy birthday he's turning eight well he turned eight um and we went to his basketball game and we went to his house uh, he ended up going to Great Wolf Lodge. So I'm so excited for him because when we took the kids at his age, they had a ball. So it says, happy birthday, Noah. It says, I'm so blessed to have such a wonderful little nephew. 
Um, and then I went back in there. So I wrote that, what I just told you, I wrote that on the green um, slashes, right? And then I end up going back with my um, pen and writing in between the lines a whole different message, um, which just says that we really enjoyed your basketball game and that he did well. Like they won the game and he had one of the winning shots. Like his shot was either the last one or second to last basket that was made. And I'm so excited about that. I actually did miss seeing it because Eden felt the need to take that time to tell me some story. We like to make each other laugh and tell different funny stories to each other. So she was telling me the story and then everybody starts screaming, Noah, Noah, Noah. I look over and he's jumping for joy. <sighs> I'm sure at the age of eight, there will be many more shots to be made. So I will catch up on those. Um, in that little loop, there's like a scoop loop that is like pink. I'm just saying like there's a great memory there um, and um, that I have genuine love for my nephew. He is my first nephew. I really wanted uh, to be an aunt because I'm an only child and he is like my paved the way type of baby of making me an auntie. So yeah, he's very special to me. I now have two nephews. Uh, he has a little brother named Caleb. Oh, <laughs> um, but it's like we have a genuine love for dinosaurs. Um, so I put that in there just to say that, you know, we have something in common um, and that we both love, um, you know, and are interested in them. Uh, I've had that interest since I was little. Jurassic Park is my jam, all of that. Um, then I decided to um right in between that as well so here you see me doing the notes that are going in between the green places i actually have seen people do this on youtube where they journal like this like they journal and skip a line on purpose and then they journal again um between the lines it's kind of like a way to mask your journaling especially if you're posting it on social media it doesn't necessarily make sense and people can't you know read everything you wrote uh, I feel like people have a hard time reading my stuff just because I write kind of wonky. Like, I'm, one, I'm left-handed, okay? Let's check that box off. <laughs> and then on top of that, I just had this artsy type of vibe when I write. Like, some letters look like other letters. Like, my G's look like S's. Um, sometimes I don't complete a letter. I know what it says. Um, so, But I also don't mind people reading the things that I post on social media. Um, however, there are journals and prayers that I keep to myself. Um, and I think that that's important to do as well. So you don't, especially if you're posting online, you don't have to feel like restricted when you're journaling because you don't want people to see this prayer or you don't want people to see your true feelings about this topic or whatever. Like what if you're not ready to, to share that information or you just don't, you know, you don't want to share it. Um, that is a nice way to write if you're going to post the actual journal other than that people blur and you can do that with an app i don't have the app i had erased it but it was called simply blur blur dot um but i had fun i wrote in in between the little scoop i, I just felt like it was really empty right like when you looked at it did you feel it was empty i just <laughs> wanted it to feel i wanted it to be a little bit more um uh, filled in so uh, instead of writing in the same flow of the scoop, we're going to just call that a scoop. It's like a lasso, actually. Instead of writing within the lasso in the same vibe and flow as the first note around the pink, I decided to draw these um, orange lines um, and do that. I did put some black dashes in between the lines. It's just to add a little more to it. Um, this... Um, what is it called? It's like a mint green color. I decided to write around this shape and it just states that summer is going by so fast. We have five weeks left. We no longer have that. I just told you I have three. So obviously I'm behind in recording. <laughs> well, not really recording and posting because it takes time to do the voiceover. I hope you all really appreciate the efforts that I put in to uh, share my journaling with you guys. <laughs> um... And this particular, uh, we're calling them blobs. And this particular blob, thanks, Nina. <laughs> I say, thank God for teacher friends. Like, God has blessed me with some really, really great teacher friends. Like, they support me and I support them. And sometimes in previous friendships, I was the one doing a whole bunch of pouring. And nobody really was there to fill my cup. Like, my cup empty too. 
And it's even more empty because what I did have, I poured it into you, but nobody was there to really, you know, help me. And I, you know what? I don't want to use absolute words. I don't want to say nobody. Um, my cup wasn't running over. Okay. <laughs> like I didn't feel filled. Um, and so it's no shade to anybody that was there, um, that helped me in different times in life. It's just that, um, I can really appreciate having the individuals that are in my life now, knowing how it felt in the past to not have that type of support from work friends. Okay. Um, and it'd be so many of them, like they, they there's a lot of support. Um, I do have like key friends and then I have associates. Like you have to, I think I mentioned before, like there's a big difference between the two to me. <laughs> okay. Um, no shades either, or it's just, you know, some people are friends and some people are associates. Um, I am praying about this upcoming school year. I am finally teaching only business because before we had a whole statistics issue <laughs> where I was teaching math. Um, and that is not necessarily my jam. However, business law is new to me. I have not, I have not been in a business law class since the early 2000s we are past 2020 now so it has been a whopping like 18 years since i've been in business law and so i am praying that my scholars are uh, receptive of the information i have for them that they're respectful i'm praying for the parents i'm praying for my seniors that are you know working their way through here and trying to pick out their wonderful jobs careers and uh schools um, I'm praying for a positive year, like some upcoming greatness coming through. Um, the admin staff, the, my fellow teacher, just everybody. I really want to have fun. I really want to enjoy myself and I really want to be able to bless others, um, as I walk through the hallways every day and in the classroom every day. So, um, in a nutshell, that is what I'm st- stating here. And lastly, I just want to make really great memories this school year. Thank God. <laughs> That's what I stated. So I hope you guys really, really enjoy this journal um, session. I do have much more to do with this particular spread. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show you guys how I filled it in. Hopefully I can record um, the rest of the spread like as I get that together. Um, but if not, you have had a peek into how I at least started the process. Um, I have much more to do, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up so that I can know that <laughs> or definitely comment below um, so that I can, you know, interact with you guys because I really enjoy that part of the process as well of being here on YouTube. Thank you all again for watching and, and blessing me. I really appreciate that. All right. Um, you have a wonderful school year as well. Here is my spread close up just so you can enjoy it. Bye.